This presentation is going to explain the overt and covert signs of aspiration. Aspiration occurs when food or liquid travels below the vocal folds and into the lungs rather than down the esophagus. Many people experience aspiration at some point in their life and it is commonly described as food or liquid going down the wrong tube. However, some people experience chronic aspiration such as those who have had a stroke, traumatic brain injury, Parkinson's disease, and other cognitive or neurological deficits. Most people recognize aspiration by the overt or most common symptoms. These include coughing, choking, decreased O2 sat, dramatic change in respiratory rate, and regurgitation. Many health professionals will think that their patients are not aspirating because they are not showing these overt signs. However, those with chronic aspiration may develop a diminished cough reflex and therefore do not display these signs. This is when it becomes important to know the covert signs of aspiration. These include eye tearing, nasal flaring, wet voice, and sneezing. Unexplained weight loss, loss of appetite, and fatigue are also covert signs that may occur due to aspiration. It is important to understand these signs because if aspiration goes undetected, a patient can develop aspiration pneumonia. Aspiration pneumonia occurs when liquid or food builds up in the lungs and causes an infection. Aspiration pneumonia can be life-threatening, so it is important to either catch it as early as possible or prevent it altogether. In conclusion, it is important for all health professionals to know and understand both the covert and overt signs of aspiration for several reasons. One, it can prevent aspiration pneumonia. It can help health professionals refer their patients to speech-language pathologists for swallow studies to evaluate and diagnose any swallowing deficits and modify their diet as quickly as possible. And it can improve the quality of life of their patients by preventing them from aspirating every time they eat. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.